Hello guys, welcome back. Another part two to the recent CB radio video that I did. What an overwhelming response that I had. I can't believe that many people commented in that short of time about their experience with CB radio and them being a ham radio operator but started on CB and the people that support others getting on CB radio and the hams that currently use it. So another video to follow up with a couple questions I had. They said, well, that's great. I, I'm, I'm all for it, CB radio, that's great, you know, but is anybody even on CB radio anymore? And in this video, I figured I'd come home from work the last couple nights and I'll fire up the radio and put the camera on it and see exactly just what you'll see out there. What I see today on CB radio in 2018, CB radio is alive. There are people on it every day. A plethora of different types of people and different activities that they're doing, but there is plenty of action on 11 meters. Let's check it out. Yeah, okay there, 909. Yeah, you're up in the head, well up over uh, about 20 over 9 at least in the mobile. Great copy on you. All right, you got a on that 909. Appreciate that, man. What kind of beam are you running there? What kind of beam are you running? Oh, uh, yeah, man, those three LMBs are a great antenna, man. They really are good antennas. I never had a Joe gun before, but uh, interesting design. Yeah, kill us on that. Yeah, I, I was not too, you don't see them very often, that's for sure. What's that? Uh, I said you're kind of popular. Seven, you're making it to Texas anyway, buddy. Ten four, man. You too. Okay, so before we show this and let you see some of the signals, let me give you a little preliminaries. I. I had a couple questions on my last uh, CB video, and they said, you know, you didn't really show us anything about the operating. Uh, it, it sounds a lot different than ham radio, or they haven't heard CB or ham radio at all. So here's what's happening. I'm going to give you a nutshell here on what's happening. Let me turn this down because, of course, CB is just booming right now. Here's what's happening. Now, as a unlicensed uh, band, it is pretty much a free-for-all, all right? There is no rules. No rules, just right. Now, what you'll hear out there is you'll hear a lot of stations that have numbers that are fictitious numbers or wherever they come up with these numbers. They're not call signs. But they're kind of like instead of talking to a station across the United States and giving them a handle like frustration or whatever, sometimes they usually have numbers. Like back in the day, I used 382, and that was kind of me. 382 said it. We're waving from the sand pile break. And, uh, you know, that's kind of, you know, 007, triple three, uh, five, 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 uh, Mr. Patrick, I told you about, uh, smoker five, five worldwide. And, um, you know, that's what you're hearing. So basically what's happening is you have a lot of people that are just trying to make a contact without any rules. You know, uh, you'll hear a lot of people talking over each other because some of them can't hear others, you know, so a lot of people are, bombarding on 27.385 because you know it's like ham radio they hear some but they don't hear the other so on your end you may hear five six seven people but sometimes the other stations can't hear each other or sometimes they're just trying to talk over um so you know it, it happens man it, this is you know for you amateur radio operators out there like myself yes we have governing you know methods on how we do ham radio and stuff with identification and courtesy and stuff like that but for the sake of cb radio you know sometimes that doesn't apply and that's okay you know because still without a doubt 
you have guys that are making contacts on 11 meters when other bands, people say they cannot make contacts at all or they blame dead bands or they blame whatever the case may be. The guys on CB have no problem doing it. Um, so, uh, you know, some of them are using ham gear. Some of them are using CB gear. Some of them on Super Bowl six may be using 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 watts. But whatever, man, it's CB, and I enjoy listening to these guys. And I've done this for a long time, playing on CB. So also what you'll hear is, um, you know, a lot of terms, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, how your radio sounds. You know, you're blowing smoke into my ears, you know, stuff like that. And really what they're doing is, is pretty much telling each other, you know, instead of saying, okay, you sound good, the weather, you know, what do we talk about on ham radio? The weather is 34 degrees, cloudy, and uh, my 5100 on D-Star uh, sounded good through my hotspot, and, you know, yada, yada. But on CB, you know, they kind of just pass it back and forth. Yeah, you're, you're blowing smoke into my receive in the Northeast, 007, and the Buckeye State said it, we're waving. You know, stuff like that. That's, that's all they're really doing. And you'll hear this on the little audio clips. But for those who say, wow, I didn't know anybody plays on CB anymore, feast your ears on what I've recorded here just a little bit. I've heard this all day long. I've heard people on 11 meters. There was a couple I wish I would have had uh, on video, on Brown and Golden Eagles and some others on Galaxy Saturns and whatever. And, man, they were stroking, as they say, blowing smoke. And, uh, you know, those guys are just uh, having fun. And that's what it's about. Um, when it comes down to it, again, it's all radio. And, it, you know, you don't have to act like these guys to fit in. Just get out there. If you're especially in the sideband portion, it seems that there's a mixture of guys that are hams in, in the sideband portions. They are, uh, you know, ham guys that just want to unload on CB Maybe they're using their ham gear because the bands are dead or whatever the case. Down in AM, some of those guys never been hams. Some of those guys are hams, and it's a competition. They're just trying to see who's got the louder signal on channel 19 or channel 6 and whatever. You know, I encourage you to go on there and, <laughs> and try to come over some of those guys on, on channel 6. You know, But anyways, just listen to a few clips here just so you can see what's going on on the airwaves on CB radio. contact with you to to wish you the happy new year i'll catch you later when it's a little quieter and conditions are better old jd sebastian florida i'll be on the side I think I heard a triple one. I heard a triple one coming coming down here to Florida. I got old JD and Sebastian standing by. 
So there's something else in CB that's somewhat mildly popular. It's called noise toys. So noise toys, they make, you know, you get the Roger beep at the end. But, you know, you know what that means. They're done talking when you hear that beep. You got one tone, three tone, five tone Roger beeps. You got the, the Browning Golden Eagle that, that, that you heard in the previous video that I showed you. That was, there's a story behind that. That's the radio doing that. And some people say that was a defect in the radio, but people liked it. Some people say that's the way you hold the mic, whatever. But then you got people that try to replicate that. And check this guy out. You can hear how it... Pew! And here's a, something I dug out of my little mystery box in the closet. Here is what's a... This is a five tone roger beep this is something you put in a radio this was actually one of them that was in a cobra 29 i had you can put this in a lot of radios and this is basically a board that has a roger beep times five and you can adjust it with the little potentiometers here you know you do whatever you want whenever you let go now that aggravates a lot of people and i recommend don't getting on channel 19 with the truckers with these they call them some pretty heinous words i don't want to say but this is a five-tone Roger beep, and that wires in with your PTT circuit and your mic circuit and power. And, you know, then you got other stuff. Here's a little bag of goodies that I found. Let's see if I could dump this out on the, ca on the uh, camera on the mic here or on the desk. I'll show you a couple things that I used to use for my little modifications of radios. Check that out. So... Little things like this, you know, you got it. Here's a set of finals that um, were supposed to go in a Cobra 29 I had that I never put in there. Another final here. And then you got some caps and stuff. And a lot of these were for, 
um, you know, swing on your radio where for uh, more modulation, instead of just cutting a diode, you could do it a little bit better and, and have better modulation and a wider signal without cutting the audio limiter out of the radio. And things like these, you know, uh, parts left over, I think there's actually almost a whole kit in there. Only a couple of things, you know, the, the, uh, the capacitor here, and then you have this here, which I think goes in this little uh, ceramic disc capacitor, I think goes tied together with the resistor. And, you know, then you could do some other stuff for the finals, for increased output, whatever. But that's just my nostalgia here from my radio. Five-tone Roger Beep and a bunch of parts for, for tweaking my CB radio. But, yeah, again, that brings back fun for me. You know, that's, that's the good old days. I, hell, I might put this in the next radio I pick up. If you have a Cobra 29 you don't want, go ahead and send it to me. <laughs> All right, so actually day two since I've started recording this video, I figured I'd sit down again and see what's happening. And once again, I'm amazed that there's a lot of signals on the CB from various parts of the United States. Some of them are flexing their muscles, showing their loud radio. Some of them are just trying to make contacts. Let's flip over to audio and hear what we hear. over here to my mic for a second so a couple things to note also every single one of these stations that you hear on this video are skip is what they call skip those are all distant contacts from my area nobody here on this what you're listening to minus the one guy you saw earlier uh, all these stations are coming in with conditions across the united states from various states because of the fact that i could hear the signal fading in and out on am i could tell that they're not local and not only that, they like to give their state. They like to say, yeah, you know, you know uh, the Buckeye State or the Bluegrass State, you know, you could tell where they're at. You could tell they're not local. At the same time, you may hear when I go to something like what you see there on the screen, down here to whatever that frequency was I just missed, uh, you may hear a bunch of people talking. And it's, it, there's so many signals on AM, it's what do they call it, intermod. It's just a bunch of rrrr because it can't. You know, you can't hear one station. You're hearing 10 or 15 at a time. They all don't hear each other often, but you're hearing all of them. So that's why sometimes you go to a channel 
for instance, if I go down to the Super Bowl six here, sometimes you, you listen to that and there's just a lot. See, and you may be saying, wow, that sounds like, like crap. Well, what you're hearing is multiple stations. You're hearing multiple signals. You're hearing skip rolling in from multiple parts of the country in the United States. For the hams out there that follow me, The 10 meter beacon who's always out there, but uh, aside from him, I hear one other station. Let's see. Not much, really. There's some uh, JT65 sounds, like our JT9. Not a whole lot there. Unless we go down here. And then you start seeing all the signals on the waterfall. You see them? All right, so hopefully you just get a little bit more of visual entertainment here on this video. You may not be an avid CB or you may not even care. That's fine. But I hope that you appreciate the effort that I go through to bring in these videos. And, you know, it's just awareness. You hopefully learned something from understanding a little bit more about CB if you're a ham or you're interested in radio in general. But... I'm listening right now. You can see on the screen there's Louisiana talking to Southern California. I was just listening to those guys. So the moral of the story, there is propagation. You just have to pick up the radio. And sometimes it's a little bit tougher on the lower bands or on other bands with noise or in your situation. But just, you know, experiment. And for those who are CBers, um, you know, you, you got my support. And for those who are hams that admit they're CBers back in the day, well, it's you and me together. So thanks for watching. More videos on the way as usual. 2019 brings a whole new year. I got a lot of stuff on my plate. I Like the wife said the other day on my New Year's resolution, what are you going to do for New Year's for your followers? She says, your followers are your biggest thing in your life. That's right. You guys are watching the videos, and I think every day how I can come up with new content for you guys. So I'm always thinking about it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. 73 KJ4YZI.